Hi everyone, Pastor Gonzalez here. Um, I was contacted by a company um, on Amazon to see if I would review a few of their products. And the company's name is Fayachi. They uh, sent me some money, um, ordered their materials. They wanted me to test out a few things. They wanted me to test out their Fayache 45 degree Picatinny sights. I'm not usually a user of 45 degree sights, but I thought, well, all right, I'll test them out, see what they want. They said that they're iron. Here they are, they came in the mail. And they also sent me, apparently they own the number TWOD, T-W-O-D, um, some shooting bags. And so I haven't even opened these up. I thought I'd do a review of them, um, fill them up. And I thought, what better way to uh, test them both out than uh, fill up the, ba the, the bags, the shooting rest bags. Um, run them through the paces and uh, shoot the iron sights on an AR-15 and just see how they work out and just review them both at the same time, all right? So let's dig in. I, full disclosure, um, I did not pay for these. They contacted me. They wanted me to do a review. So uh, let's look at it. Let's see whether or not they're any good, all right? Um, I think these were $14.99. These might have been $20-something dollars um, for some iron sights, um, backup iron sights. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's see how they are. And we're going to start off with the shooting bags. These are the Twoed, um, unfilled army green new bags. Okay. We're going to, uh, open this up. We're going to see how well they are. To me, shooting bags are shooting bags. Okay. Um, as long as they're stitched well and, uh, you know, the stuff doesn't fall out all over the place. Um, they should be pretty good. Um, you know, some people could review them of how well they're, um, or, you know, I don't know, how, how easy they are to fill or whatnot. Shooting bags aren't hard to fill up. Um, yeah, see, this is the bottom rest piece. I do like, uh, let's see, they're canvas. I can tell they're canvas. This is a little bit softer material, like a suede. Um, that's definitely for the upper end. Um, you definitely feel it right there. Um, I'm just kind of going through it real well. Let's show you some of the stitching. For $15, um, that's just where the end of the stitch, if you see that, um, that could be taken care of just with the thing. So far, um, man, I, I want to be thorough. I don't want to just give them a good rating because they sent it to me. Um, so I want to make sure that this is actually something that y'all can either invest in and see for yourself, but, uh, you know, if it's something, if it's worth $15 so far, as long as it holds what I'm going to be putting in here, which I'm going to put some, some just very simple kitty litter in this thing. I'm not, I'm not going to use sand. Sand's really fine. It's heavy. Um, really, I just need something to stabilize the rifle. It has some of these plastic hooks on here. So if you wanted to connect it with the little plastic D rings, you could. Um, you know, I'm not expecting $50 quality here. Um, yeah, let's see what we've got. When I filled up these uh, TWOD shooting bags, I filled them up with just some simple dollar store cat litter. I, I don't like sand because sand just weighs a lot. I mean, cat litter weighs a lot. It's still going to stay. I don't overfill mine. As you can tell, the stitching seems to be pretty good. For 15 bucks on these, seems to be good. I don't really normally even use a rear rest, um, but we'll try it. It came with it, I filled it up. Um, it was pretty simple um, to fill up. Um, I used a, just a little funnel for my car um, right there um, to help fill it up, pretty good. So now, um, yeah, seems to be going well. I mean, it's a, it's a shooting bag. What, what more can I say about it, okay? It's a $15 shooting bag, um, should work fine. Let's look at these Fioshi, Fayashi um, sights real fast. These are 45 degree sights, iron sights. Comes with an Allen wrench. That one clearly there is the rear peep. This is the front sight, so uh, let me take these out. I'm actually gonna take them out, put them on the weapon, put them on an AR-15, and uh, we'll see how they work. All, All right. right, guys, I put the Fiyashi 45 degree sights um, on um, an AR-15. This is my wife's AR-15, as you can tell. It's definitely um, Muddy Girl, and it's my wife. She loves it, but uh, 
Um, she doesn't really keep any regular sights on them. They're just regular iron sights she uses. So I took off her sights. You can tell that these steel ones from Fiasci are pretty good, right? So far, um, I'm really, I put them on, they kind of wiggle there. They fold, they flip, fold. Uh, that's a little hard. All right, there we go. Um, got something like that. Now, one thing I did think was cool, and I'm gonna give credit where credit's due, these are very, very inexpensive sights, but you can see the cutout there for the deflector. So if you wanted to put this near your deflector, you can see that there's a little cutout there. Um, it goes on the rail pretty easily. Um, the reason why I didn't put them back on the back rail is because, well, I didn't want it too close to my charging handle. I mean, I probably could sneak it back one more but I just didn't want that. On the my wife has this front rail on her front gas block. You can see it there. And with this Magpul MOE full grip on here, it makes it to where this can't fall down. Um, it, I tested it, it folds down really well. It springs up really well, um, but only if I put it up here. Um, I just didn't think that was a good sight distance um, to really accurately go. I love my sights to be as farthest apart as possible. Um, these sights, all steel, um, should work fine. They're very inexpensive. Um, for what I do, they're fine. If it was in a, a tactical situation, I don't know if I would trust them. But for hanging out at the range, having some backup stuff, for having some some things to make your gun a little tactical, I guess. I don't really do that, but uh, um, I guess it'd be fine. So let's go check out the accuracy. I'm sure they would be just pretty good accuracy if you would just raise them and lower them. They, they're they fully adjustable left and right on each side. So it uh, should be fine, all right? So we're gonna take these to the range and we're gonna give it a test and test it out with the Twode shooting bags there and uh, see what we can do, okay? All right, everybody, Pastor Gonzalez back here with you. I'm out at the range. And as you can see, I have the TWOD, the Twode um, shooting bags in olive green. I have them filled up. I have them ready to go. And uh, I have my wife's AR-15 with the Fiyashi 45 degree iron sights. So I thought, well, we'll just do two reviews at once. How's that sound? So, so far, all good. Seems to be going well. I don't normally use these kind of shooting rests. I'll be shooting the shooting rest uh, with this, but also I'm gonna be testing them out with uh, an AR-10 of mine in 308, and then also with just a simple Henry um, Golden Boy 22. So we'll be checking those all out, um, seeing how the rest work. Um, guys, $14.99 for those rest on Amazon so far seems to be going great. I mean, the rest, I mean, you don't, I don't beat them up. I don't know what to say about them. There's really not much to review. They're just rest. So uh, we'll look at the sites. We'll see how well they do and go from there. So be back in a little bit. All right, guys, got the twad sandbags here. Only I filled them with kitty litter because it's a lot easier. I have the Fioshi um, 45 degree iron sights. They seem to be holding up just fine um, they can be a little bit tricky to flick so uh, we're locked and loaded just gonna switch off safe we're gonna see how they work all right all right guys I switched out the AR-15 for my AR-10 uh, and this is a Palmetto State in 308 that I've uh, just done a little bit of extra work to so we're gonna check out these T-Wad um, shooting bags. You'll notice I actually had to spit it up on end. I probably will need to put more stuff in here if I want it to be elevated. Um, from a bench rest, they'll probably be fine, but I like shooting prone. So all I did was sit them sideways. It's probably one of, I guess if I have a negative about these cheap bags for 15 bucks, you can't expect much. Um, but it's the fact that I had to turn it on end. So we're gonna go hot here. And, uh, shoot. I'm 
gonna hit the steel plate in the back of the thing. Tell me if it moves. In okay. The back of the thing. Oh, sweet. Everyone, I'm going hog hunting with this rifle in a few weeks. Right now, it's dead on nice. <laughs> Absolutely nice. I'm drilling a hole in the back of the support, everyone. Um, these bags, they're bags. I, not really much I can say. 15 bucks, fill them up with some cheap kitty litter from the dollar store. They'll work for you. Just don't abuse them and the stitching should hold up just fine. All right, everybody, about 200 yards. We got steel down there. I'm shooting these t wad shooting bags. 200 yards, they seem to be working fine, but I'll let y'all be the judge, okay? Hey guys, Pastor Gonzalez back again. Um, doing this review on these T-Wad shooting wrist bags from Amazon, um, from a guy, um, Fayashi is the, I guess, the parent company. They contacted me about doing a review. They're $14.99. Um, full disclosure again, they sent me the money for this. Uh, I ordered them and uh, I filled them up with kitty litter. I just go to the dollar store and go get me some kitty litter. Um, I fill them up. I took them to the range and yeah, let's see. They're still there. They're still shooting bags. See that? The stitching is on par with seriously about everything you get nowadays. Um, you know, they held up at my range and I my range is a, uh, a rock quarry. So believe it or not, um, they did well. I mean, I, I, I can't say anything about them too much. They're, they're $14.99 shooting rest bags. Um, you go to the dollar store, get you a couple of dollars worth of kitty litter, put it in. Um, you could put pea gravel, you could put sand, you could put styrene balls inside these things. And I think you're gonna have a good, a good, uh, a good thing. So uh, yeah, would I recommend them? Sure I would, they're, they're $14.99. They're, plus uh, I think on Amazon Prime you get free shipping. So of course I would recommend these. They uh, really, really, um, for the price, great deal. And I needed some shooting rest bags anyway. So. Looky there, great deal. They also, their parent company, Fayashi, sent me these, all right? These are the 45 degree iron sights um, from Fayashi. They break down, they fold down. They don't really like my wife's uh, Magpul MOE handrail, but they flip up. Here's the back end. These are all steel. They go down. You can see that's the only thing that I might have against these is that uh, it takes a little bit to uh, to push them down. You can unscrew them a bit. I don't know if that helps. Well, so far that does help. Let's see if I can push it. And that's about all it needed. Huh, what do you know? Well, I don't normally use 45 degree offset sights. Um, I don't really use backup sights, backup iron sights. Um, so uh, that's what these are. I was able to shoot it um, fairly well. Um, I'll give you a nice little camera angle here. I don't know if I can line it up. If I could, that would be pretty awesome. Yeah, you can kind of see the other rear side over there. So, um, did they work? Sure. Do I normally install these? No. Um, I don't normally install these. Um, if you're into this thing, um, solid steel, iron sights, um, 45 degree offset, so you can keep, you know, your reflex sight or whatever you want to put up here, your scope. Um, I think you'd be fine. Um, you know, for the price, they're a steal. Are they Magpul? No, of course they're not. Um, but for 20 something dollar iron sights on Amazon, um, I have seen worse, let me say it that way. So, would I recommend them? Yeah, if you're looking for the thing, sure. But I, they're not necessarily something I'm gonna keep. I'm not gonna keep them on these. Now let me let me do a full disclosure again. I was paid to review these things. Um, 
and you know I was given them I'm probably going to give them away um, so you know I, I might do that with my channel if you're looking for a set then then I'll probably be giving these away um, and some giveaway someday help me get to a hundred subscribers and I'll, um, yeah I'll do a giveaway of some things but uh, I do like this I do like that it is cut out and notched out for the deflector that's just thoughtful. Um, I, you know, I, I just, I did that and I thought, huh. So I was able to put a few range, a few, uh, few shots down range. Um, I liked them fair enough. I mean, they're sights. Um, I am not a pew pew guy. I don't just rattle off a lot of shots just to rattle off. I really like precision shooting. So I try to keep things controlled. And so, there you go, guys. Uh, me and my garage. Um, now I'm going to take these off because, well, my wife don't like them on her rifle. Um, and, you know, she just wants her sights. And I don't blame her. So there it is. Highly recommend the T-Wad shooting wrist bags. Uh, listen, guys, I know they're $14.99. I know that they paid me um, and to, and to review this and to give this to me. But... Uh, Guys, I, I have nothing to lose. I'm not some big shot gun reviewer or whatever. I'm just a guy that likes to shoot. Um, and I'll tell you, um, I don't know if I would have ever really bought these before, but I'm glad I have them. Um, they're great. So um, they're just going to stick, get stuck up and probably um, with my shooting stuff, and they're just going to go with me every single time. Um, I don't always use a rear bag. There was a case today. I actually kind of liked having it. Um, but uh, yeah, worked fine. So I hope this helps.